have all the answers for you today. I don't have all the answers. That's fine. Um, so yeah, people with a new company. Is that close to a small camera? Oh, a small microphone? Yeah, sure. So it's a uh, fairly new company, uh, about a little bit more than a year. Okay. But people is amazing. You know, it's like we're really passionate people and then within a year we come up with this product. Uh, so I'm super, super jazzed. Um, for me, I'm totally new to this company. <laughs> I just joined it maybe yeah, like two months ago. Okay. So I spent my last 10 years in PlayStation. Oh, nice. Um, so I designed the um, PlayStation 4 controller. Um, I started the PlayStation VR project. So, but what caught my attention in Pico is really about the vision. Yeah. About trying to bring VR to everyone. And you try it yourself and see how easy it is to, to do yes. it all, right? And and there's no tethering, no connecting to different. Uh, yeah, that's why I like the fact that it's it's not on a computer. I could just take this into exactly. any room. I don't have to put sensors exactly. everywhere. Exactly, exactly. I mean, those systems are awesome. I love those systems. Like HTC is awesome. Mark is awesome. Place is awesome. But <laughs> it's different audience, you know. But yes. if you really want to use it every day at your house, in your home. Pico, I think, offer a really, really wonderful option for the user. So that's really, I think, is really appealing. Yeah, I agree. And as uh, so you said, the, the controller, basically, so the whole workings are in the controller? Yeah, so the controller has the main processor. Uh, we're using the Qualcomm chipset, like okay. the E20. And of course, the headset has the uh, has the sensor too. So it gives you like a three degree of freedom. So, like, you know, like, twist, and turn, and all this kind of stuff. And, but we are able to move all the stuff, the most heavy stuff, including the battery, onto the, onto the controller. So it gives you a really lightweight headset that you can wear for a long time. Yeah, it was very lightweight, right, Paul? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now, one of, uh, I don't know if this is accurate, but you guys are hoping to open source to get more independent people making games well, for I mean, it? it is. We, 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 the whole system is based on uh, Qualcomm, which is uh, Android-based development kit. Okay. And so, yeah, um, anyone who's doing Android games, uh, it should be really, really easy to point over. And we're also providing uh, what I call is from creation to consumption. So on the creation part, we actually have a lot of SDK, developer support, how they can optimize the game to this hardware. And so as you can experience the uh, Cosmo Warfare game, yeah. it's, it's still in the beta version, but I think it's pretty smooth. No, it Maybe was... occasionally you might have a couple of hiccups, but Overall, I think they, they did a wonderful job optimizing uh, to, to the hardware. So the same thing we're trying to provide SDK and support to, to our developers. That's great. Yeah. And uh, just real fast, one more. Uh, what's the cost? What are you guys aiming for? We haven't really decided yet. But as you can tell, um, without all the extraneous or additional hardware you need, uh, it's a fairly simple unit, and we, it's going to be really, really compatible, and, and, and I think it's going to be really, really affordable too. Right. And yeah. it's uh, PicoVR.com? Yes, PicoVR.com, go check it out. Yes. Right. Thank, yeah, you hey, so much. Thank you so Thank you, Lou. Yeah.